Chapter 24 of Iracema, The Honey Lips, A Legend of Brazil, by José de Alencar, translated by Isabel Burton. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter 24 It was customary, amongst the race of Dupin, for the brave to wear on his body the colors of his nation. They first traced upon the skin black lines, like those of the Quachi, whence came the name of the war-painting art. They also varied the colors, and many warriors were covered with emblems of their deeds. The stranger, having adopted the country of his spouse and his friend, was expected to pass through this ceremony in order to become a redskin warrior and a son of Tupin. With this intention, Pochi had provided for himself the necessary objects. Iracema prepared the dyes. The chief, dipping in them the feathers, traced over the warrior's body the red and black lines, the Pichiguara colors. He then drew on his forehead an arrow, and said, As the arrow pierces the hard trunk, so the warrior's eye penetrates the soul of the people. On the arm a hawk. As the anagé swoops from the clouds, so falls the warrior's arm upon the enemy. On the left foot, the root of a palm tree, as the little root supports in the ground the lofty palm tree, thus the firm foot of the warrior sustains his frame. On the right foot, a wing. As the wing of the majoi cleaves the air, thus the fleet foot of the warrior has no equal in the race. Iracema then took the feather vein and painted a leaf with a bee upon it. Her voice murmured through her smiles. As the bee makes honey in the black heart of the jacarandá, so sweetness is in the breast of the bravest warrior. Martin opened his arms and lips to receive the body and soul of his wife. My brother is a great warrior of the Pichiguara nation. He wants a name in the language of his new country. The name of thy brother shall be called by whatever part of his body thou imposest thy hand upon. Quachiabu! exclaimed Iracema. Thou hast said it. I am the painted warrior, the warrior of the wife and of the friend. Pochi gave to his brother the bow and the tomahawk, which were the noble arms of a brave. Iracema had prepared for him the plumes and ornamented belt worn by illustrious chiefs. The daughter of Araquen fetched from the cabin the meats of the feast and the wines of the genipapu and mandioca. The warriors drank copiously and danced joyous dances. Whilst they revolved round the bonfires, they sang songs of gladness. Pochi chanted, As the cobra snake, which has two heads and only one body, so is the friendship of Quachiabu and Pochi. Iracema took up the refrain. As the oyster, which leaves not the rock until after death, so is Iracema joined to her husband. The warriors chanted, as the Jatobá in the forest, so is the warrior Quachiabu between his brother and spouse, his branches entwine with those of Yubiratã, and his shade protects the humble grass. The fires of joy burned until morning came, and with them lasted the feast of the warriors. End of chapter 24